Well, hello there. Motorsport's most magnificent man is back in the Funk Motorsport building. And I've been tasked with letting you, the fine people of the wide world out there, know all about Funk Motorsport and the magnificent things that they do. So I present to you this mini series called Heat Management for Dummies. Hello friends and welcome back to another grand edition of Heat Management for Dummies. Today we will be discussing why line and hose protection is so vitally important. Often overlooked is one of these magnificent pieces of architecture known as a heat sleeve. Funk Motorsport have crafted and engineered a fine piece of kit that quite frankly if you choose not to use, well you're going to lose. You see in here have all kind of lines, fuel lines, oil lines and lines that I don't even understand. But what I do understand is they get very, very hot. And if you don't have one of these, you're gonna have a bad time. I threw the thing on the floor. You just throw it back and then we'll talk about it again. Yeah. Right. So if we go to my informative display here of high technication colors, we can see that we have here an oil, could be a brake line, an oil or a brake line. Cars have got both. And we have the same one over here. The only difference being that over on this side, we have a heat sleeve, and on this side, <laughs> we do not. What does that mean exactly? It means, well, it means a couple of things. See, when these oil and brake lines are used, heat's coming from outside, indicated by these flaming arrows here, and that, quite frankly, is not what you want if you're a little oil or brake line. These things need to remain at a cool temperature in order to work correctly. There's a lot of scientific mumbo jumbo that I could use to explain, but let me give you the layman's. Brake fluid doesn't work if it gets too hot. If it gets too hot, your brakes don't work. You're gonna have a bad time. If your oil lines get too hot, your engine's gonna set on fire. And you, my friend, are gonna have a bad time. You don't wanna be in this column over here. Get a heat sleeve, get cool, get funky, and get your, get your lines and your hoses protected. Let us now talk heat sleeves. Three different varieties here to keep those lines cool. Let's start off with the funky Zilla, the big bad boy for them hot lines. This one, slide over, it's gonna keep you nice and cool. This silver Fandango here, if you're sliding straight over the pipes, it's silver so it's reflective. And if you're a Velcro man, if you've got some applications that you just can't get off, just wrap this one around, stick it down, and you're off to cool town, baby. So we're back with our uh, local in-house dummy who has a few questions regarding this week's product. Uh, please. Can the sleeves be cut down to size? Of course, no problem. The sleeves are sold in a variety of lengths and be cut down to size using a sharp pair of scissors. Are Velcro sleeves good for all applications? Well, the melting point of Velcro is naturally lower than any other part of the materials in the sleeve, no doubt. If opting for a Velcro option for easy fit, remember to angle the Velcro section away from the heat source. And he's, and he's, he's great. Well, we'll, we'll see you around. Why? I hope these nuggets of knowledge serve you well and that you've enjoyed this incredible journey of funk motorsport heat management that we've been on together. I already knew all of this stuff off by heart, but I hope that you've learned something that you can take forward to make sure that your car runs at its highest performance. <laughs>